Hello, everyone. Shouldn't we be talking about Beyblade Burst? Sort of like my it was a little bit of thoughts for Sparking before we get into it. Um, I just want to say comment uh, your thoughts on it. Be, con be constructive, also kind of be fair, I would say. So, in Beyblade Burst, almost every every season, I feel like the first two they changed the protagonist. So we had Volt. We had Volt and Beyblade Burst God. Then after it changed to Aiga and Chelsea. And then after in GT, it was Drum. And now in Sparking, it's Hikari and Hyuga. So, to be clear, for GT and Chelsea, I, I like Aiga and I like Drum. Of course, there's some things I don't like in the seasons as a whole. But, to be clear, in this discussion, I'm going to be only referring to the anime because. I've seen a lot of times where the manga is a lot better for how they have uh, played out events than compared to the anime. So on that note, let's talk about like, sort of like the first point and something I, I don't like which is just in general every time there's a new protagonist which is just like the power progression. Now a lot of this can just be knocked down to, oh, it's to sell the toys. But I would like to point to Metal Fight, because in Metal Fight, even if something was new, it wasn't really always the case where a new bay would just win all the time. Right? And that was kind of cool, because the issue kind of I had with Burst, on the topic of all this toy thing, it's sort of just like, new thing, whatever, okay, whatever battle they're in, they win. Right? And this is kind of like, this This is like the biggest, the biggest thing I can point to is like in GT, every time Amane went into a fight, just lost to the new blade. <laughs> it really does suck now, doesn't it? So on that whole idea of sort of like the power progression, right? Okay, when we see Volt for the first season to God, okay, we see that Volt definitely grows and he learns a lot and we see that he's skilled, right? And we grow this attachment to Volt. And when we see the power that he has, okay, you know, it makes sense because we see him through this whole journey. Okay, then after when you have to start a whole new thing, it's not like they're going to build it up for a season and then another season. It's only going to be in one season. And especially in GT, uh, they got to go through like a lot of like boosts of power or zen Zenkais just to get there. So, to talk about with Cho Z, to, to compare it to Vault, the reason why a lot of people don't like Aiga, at least for the anime, is the really stupid dark power that he got. Now, they could have handled it a lot better than what they originally did, and I don't like it like a single bit. Like, okay, Aiga gets corrupted because like Fi did, did something or whatever. I, I still, I'm still not even clear. I, I probably forgot. And then after, okay, he gets these dark power-ups. Okay, now here's the thing. If they had it to where I get learn, like, there's consequences every time he uses it, then that would be, like, that would be fine. But the thing is, would you, I don't really, I would really not count the thing where, where Shu gave us a speech where it's like, oh, don't be consumed by your bae. It's sort of like, it's a bit last minute. It's a bit last minute, because at the end, uh, if it really should have, the issues are like the speech was just given like, like right at the last moment, because then after what, battles happen, goes up against five, use bay breaks, and then after it changes. If she maybe gave that speech earlier on, that would make a lot more sense, because in the anime it was a little bit weird, like I had this dark power, but rarely nobody was really concerned. I think even Free said he has to like defeat him because he sends like this dark energy. But I think really I think Fi actually did Iga more of a favor because when Phoenix broke Achilles, that dark power thing went away. It's really it's really weird. Like it really is weird. I believe in the manga, I think Valkyrie breaks Achilles. Yes, Vault actually did break a bay. Valkyrie breaks uh, Achilles uh, to break like the Dark Curse or something like that. 
So you, you can get the idea, but... Okay, then after he gets all developed in, in the end. So then after with Drum... I think Drum, I, I, I pretty much, it's... Drum had like a normal progression, the only real issue is just the whole stupid, like, turbo thing. Except Rainbow. Rainbow was fine. The whole, this whole thing with Turbo was dumb, it was just to sell toys, right? The next issue I really just had was sort of like the story. Because when you're going through, a lot of people get turned off by sort of like these new seasons because, you know, Vault's not the main character. And of course, you know, still see the season just to see if it's good or not. But it's still kind of fair to say, you want to know, know why I don't like the season because, you know, Vault was originally the main character and then after he got put to the side and then after there's just his new main characters. And it's like, okay, it was story for Chozy. I mean, actually, you all know what, for Princess Prey, it's the same thing. It's just championship, and then after, whoever's the champion at the end. But yeah, pretty much. Pretty, I, no, except, except God, I guess. God was more just trying to save Shu at the end. Cho Chozy was like, to stop five, but then, then it was the final match against Paul. It's really weird. Drum Drum was actually fine. Drum just wanted to save his friend, and that actually that actually I like. So it it, it does depend on what it is. It does depend on what it is for whatever uh, story. But the next point I want to make is sort of like the treatment of past characters. So if you're going to have a character that is someone who has been established to be a strong character, I do not think it makes sense to have this new character beat the old character. Now, yes, other than the fact that it's to sell toys, you know, whatever, but... It, sh it still should make some sense. It still has to make some sense. These characters didn't train and go through all this, like, all these battles just to have some, like, new blader just beat them. That's why I was really, it's like, the. <sighs> Like the thing where it was Iga's match against Volt. Why does Iga just almost beat Volt in his first battle with these? Well, I mean, they the technically speaking, they both had new limit, but you get the idea. And it's like the same thing with Sparking, like Rantaro and Ranjiro in the manga. It's like <laughs> two new blade. That's what I kind of think about Metal Fight, because even in Metal Fight, it, it wasn't like this. Metal Fight actually had like Jing almost the whole time, minus Zero Z. I'm not really a fan of Zero Z. Sort of the same reason. My feelings for Zero Z are pretty much the, the people's feelings for why they don't like show Zero G T, basically. Maybe a little bit different, but you get the idea. So, trying to like just the final point. Can they introduce new characters, new main protagonists, without it feeling like all the, all the basic issues that I've said. Yes. They can, and just the issue, if they will. I don't know, Burst is very like, it's sort of like a formula, it's sort of like go through like the same cycle for the most part. Sometimes they change it up, but you know what I mean. I do hope that the characters that are returning you get good treatment. I feel like they deserve it. I don't know. I, I kind of did want Volt to be the main character again. Because this also with two new protagonists is like, why? I'm sure they're pretty much going to be the same. Not like character wise, obviously, no. But what? They're going to just do it. Like, how is that going to work? It's like two characters. That means you have to develop those two. And especially if the season's going to be short. Manga is a different story, but those characters have to develop both individually, and it's just, it's just like a mess. So, it really just depends. I wish Volt just stayed the protagonist, and they could have just introduced these characters on the side, and they could have found a way to work with it. Or just find a better way just to use characters that we've known. To be honest, like Chozy, like Free and Shu were kind of just foddered, right? It's just, it, well, I mean, it depends on the character too, but I feel like I'm just gonna leave it off there. I do think 
it has the potential to utilize all the characters well, but it really just depends. Anyways, that's going to be it for now. Thank you all for watching. Have an awesome and amazing day.